All right, hello everyone. Uh, I've got this product to review. Saw it in the supermarket today. I think it was Tesco's I was in. Good hemp. It's um, a milk substitute. And um, I thought, oh, I'll, I'll review that. It's interesting. It's um, I'm quite interested in uh, cannabis and cannabis legalization, and I always find hemp products quite interesting because it. It shows how versatile the plant is. It's not just uh, a some something to get stoned with. You can also make milk and cloves and whatever the hell else you want with it. I mean, it seems crazy to me that something you can make a, a t-shirt with or a, a book with, you can also make milk with, but apparently you can. And uh, I have a lot of indigestion, especially with milk and dairy products, so I, I quite like trying out the the alternatives. Um, most of them don't taste very good. I think the last one I tried was coconut milk, and it was not good. Um, so anyway, let's have a look at this. Good hemp. 50% daily omega-3 per glass. It's nutritious and delicious and original. And it's... Raham and Murray, I don't know. Um, okay, let's read. For over 10 years, we have grown our own hemp seed for good hemp food, especially for its delicious fresh flavour and nutritional benefits. Hemp is one of the oldest crops to be grown in the world. Hemp is really healthy and is also fantastic for the environment. Hemp grows very fast. In fact, it is one of the fastest growing plants on the earth and captures a lot of CO2. It does not need pesticides. Every part of the plant is used. Seeds for healthy food and the stalk for eco-building materials which lack CO2. And if they change the laws, the bud for um, medical use. I mean, I know it's a different plant, hemp, and the, the cannabis you use for uh, its THC and CBD, but... You know, it's it's all the same cannabis family. Um, our, our hemp is grown in wildlife friendly fields. So there you go. Very interesting, I think. Um, it's not just hemp in there. Let's have a look. Water, hemp, cream. It's only 3% hemp in there, actually. Grape juice extract concentrate. Calcium from sweetened... Cal calcium from seaweed. Emulsifier, stabilizers, natural flavoring, sea salt, vitamin D2. So no, no E numbers or any crap in there. But uh, there is a lot of stuff other than just hemp and water. I guess they've got to give it some flavor and some. Uh, got to get a bit of calcium in there, I suppose. I don't know, but. Uh, yeah. Good hemp is a. Nutritious dairy free alternative to milk and soya made from natural hemp seed. It can be used in cereals, tea, coffee, shakes, and all the rest. It's naturally rich in omega 3 and 6. Um, provides 50% of your daily intake of omega 3 from one cup. I, I don't know, I'm going to read it all out loud. You can read. If there's any blind people watching this, listening to this, get a friend to read it out. It's suitable for vegetarians and vegans. So if you're one of them types, one of those strange people, you can have it. Shake well before use. Okay. Let's have a go. Four minutes in, I'm actually going to drink it. A lot to read on that pack. My experience of um, milk substitutes is they just taste a bit like water, but they look like milk, so it kind of tricks your brain to think you're drinking milk. Um, apart from soya milk, which I actually quite enjoy, but it doesn't taste anything like milk. Let's have a go. I've got it in a wine glass as well. Oop. It looks quite, uh, quite thick. I think it was about one pound fifty for a bot for a, a carton, a litre carton, which is I don't know, it's more expensive than milk, isn't it? I think, but yeah, it looks looks all right.
sticking to the sides of the glass. Yeah, it's it's white. It looks like milk. It smells uh, quite sweet, like sweets or something. The smell of it always, always reminds me of like strawberries or something. It says it's got a uh, grapefruit extract in there or something, maybe just to give it some flavour, but it smells it smells like strawberry sweets almost. Uh, it's definitely better than the coconut water I tried. Um if you were drinking it, if you'd just been drinking milk and you decided to get an alternative and you tried this, it might seem a bit watery, but it's definitely better than some of the alternatives I tried. It's got um it's got taste to it, but it's I, I don't know if that's the grapefruit. It doesn't taste the grapefruit, it tastes sweet. Like it doesn't taste bitter like grapefruit, but it's it's got like a, a flavour in there, almost like a and it's got a kind of a, a chalky taste to it as well. Which um I like. Some people don't like that sort of taste. Nice, yeah. I I could drink that. I could happily happily have that on my cereal. Um, as far as tasting like milk, you don't get the same sort of like creamy. I guess you just get like a dairy, creamy dairy taste with milk. You do. You just don't get that. You, it's kind of like. Um, it's almost like skimmed milk, like the difference between skimmed milk and normal milk, full fat. Um, you know, it's it's that kind of creamy taste is kind of taken out of it, but uh, it's got its own flavour, which is is nice. So it's, it's good. Yeah, I'm trying to think what the flavour reminds me of. I don't know. Hmm. It's got a flavour that's like it's like the the taste of it really reminds me of something, and it's like just there on the tip of my tongue what it reminds me of, but I I can't quite put my finger on it. Maybe it is grapefruit, but I don't think that's the taste that I'm getting. It's like. It's like a sweet or something, you know, like like some kind of candy that I've had as a child, but like very mild. It's not like it's not like it's really sweet milk. It's just like there's a little sort of extra like taste to it, really like a subtle taste. You know, grape. Oh no, it's not grapefruit. It's grape juice extract. Maybe that's it. You know, I, I when I read it first, I don't even know what I said when I read it like on the video, but. In my head, I, I saw grapefruit, but I think it just says grape juice, maybe that's it. Maybe, maybe it is grape. It's got a little sweetness to it, it's nice. Yeah, uh, I recommend that. If you're looking for a milk alternative, um, maybe you're searching the YouTube for a milk alternative and you saw this video, you thought you'd click on it. And um, yeah, my my opinion is that's quite nice. That would that is a a nice drink, and it would would be good on like your cereal and whatever. So I'd give it a go. Good him. All right, I just want to put a bit on the end of this video. I think I know what the taste reminds me of. Although it's got that sweetness, it's um, like a seed taste. Um, I guess that is the hemp seed, but it's what it reminds me of is you know when you have um sunflower seeds um and you just eat like a handful of sunflower seeds. That's what it reminds me of. It's got a sweetness like that sort of I guess it is the grape sweetness, but um yeah that that it's got like a seed, a nutty sort of seed um aftertaste. Um that's what the taste was, that's what it's kind of reminding me of, I think. I was trying to think of a sweet that it reminded me of, but I think it is. It's like sunflower seeds or something. But um, yeah. Anyway, I just want to add that on the end because as I as I finished the video and then I finished the glass, I was like, yeah, that's that taste. Sunflower seeds. All right. There, there. I'll end the video. Goodbye.